Welcome to the Plant Food Federation. If you are new to this channel, I am Apion. Now in Nigeria, which is where I live, it is mango season. And when it is mango season, there are mangoes everywhere. On the streets, in the open markets, in the supermarkets, anyone who loves mangoes is out there eating them. Now, because we've spent a lot of time at home lately on lockdown and in quarantine, I just keep forgetting that it is mango season. I haven't seen them as much. So I decided to try and get my hands on some mangoes and I got my hands on the most ripe, juiciest mangoes that I didn't have to wait for them to be ready to eat. Now, instead of throwing them into a smoothie, which I originally had planned to do, I decided to make some breakfast muffins with these mangoes. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make some really quick mango muffins. And I topped these muffins with this creamy, citrusy, lime, cashew topping, cashew frosting, if you wanna call it a frosting or an icing, that really balanced out the sweetness in the mangoes. So, before we head into the kitchen, remember to look below this window, there is a subscribe button. If you haven't done that already, go ahead and hit subscribe. Go ahead and hit the notification button right next to it. That way you can be the first to know when new videos go up on this channel. So with that said, let's get to making these muffins. Starting with the dry ingredients, I have almond meal here. I also have gluten-free oat flour, which I just blended up in the blender. I have some sea salt, some baking powder, and some baking soda. So we're gonna start by mixing the dry ingredients together. This step is really simple, so I'm just going to pour in my oat flour, going to add in my almond meal and just mix that in together and then I'm just going to add the remaining ingredients to this which is the baking powder, the baking soda and the sea salt. Next I'm making vegan buttermilk. I've got half a cup of almond milk here and I'm going to add half a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. I'm just going to pour that in and mix it together. It'll start to curdle a little bit and this is just to help make the muffins a bit fluffier. Moving on to our mangoes. These mangoes were just perfectly ripe and great for this recipe. So I'm going to slice each side of the mango. I'm slicing against the um, pip inside um, or the stone inside. So I'm just going to slice them lengthways and then slice them across. Um, they were going a little soft so I've got two types here. I've got thick and soft so you can see that I've just got cubes there and I'm just going to scrape off the cubes into a bowl. So the second set of mangoes I have are really, really soft. They were going close to overripe, which is fine for this recipe. So I'm literally going to scrape out the pulp from the skin into a bowl. And then I'm just going to pour them into my blender, into the jug of my blender, and I'm just going to blend them up into a puree. And there you have it, that just took 60 seconds. Next, I'm gonna tackle the ginger. I'm not gonna use all this ginger, I'm just gonna break off a piece. I like using fresh ginger in this recipe. It just really comes through and it balances out the flavor of the mango. Moving on to the wet ingredients, I've got the ginger. I've got almond extract here, which is great for mango. It really balances out the flavor. I've got coconut oil, maple syrup. I've got our mango puree, which smells amazing. And I've got the vegan butter buttermilk that I started earlier. So I'm just gonna pour all these ingredients into a bowl as well, into a separate bowl. Now I'm going to give these a good whisk before I add in the ginger and then also add in the mango puree. So I'm gonna continue whisking this together and it comes up to look like a paste really, a thick paste. So I'm gonna pour this into the dry ingredients, scraping down the bowl as much as possible. I don't wanna waste anything. And I'm just going to go ahead and mix everything together into a batter. Now you really don't need to over mix this. You just wanna make sure that everything is incorporated. 
So to prepare the muffins to go into the oven, I'm gonna put them into muffin cases. I'm using two six cup pans since I didn't have a big pan. And I'm also gonna use an ice cream scoop to just make sure that I scoop equal measurements of the batter into each muffin. Now I'm gonna just do one scoop each and then I'm going to add in the diced mango that I had cut up earlier. And I just wanna have a piece of fresh mango in the middle when I bite into these. So I'm just going to top each one now with more batter. And I did that with two trays and I'm gonna stick these in the oven and cook them at 180 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. And 25 minutes later, this is what we have. We have these golden mango amazing muffins ready to go. So this step is optional and I'm gonna make a cashew lime frosting um, to put on top of these muffins. I'm gonna use cashews. I have some almond milk, some agave syrup, some key limes, some salt, some vanilla extract this time, and I have some coconut batter butter now coconut butter is not coconut oil it's actually from dried coconut flakes so I'm going to soak these cashews with hot water normally I soak them overnight but I just wanted to do this quickly I'm going to zest the limes before I cut them and juice them so I'm, for this recipe I'm using both the zest and the juice These limes are so tiny sometimes. So I've drained the cashews, uh, the water from the cashews, and I'm gonna pour them into the jug of my blender. I'm now gonna put in my coconut butter. Now I put this in the fridge for a few minutes and it actually hardened quite quickly, but it's fine. Um, I can still use it this way and it's actually good for the cashew cream because I'm gonna be piping it onto the muffins. I'm adding in my agave. I've got about two tablespoons here. I didn't want this to be too sweet because the mangoes are already sweet on their own, but I did want a little bit of sweetness. Adding in my vanilla extract, my lime zest, pour that in, my lime juice. I got about two tablespoons out of the limes and a bit of salt. And I'm going to pour in about half of the almond milk, so about a quarter of the almond milk because I don't want the cashew cream to be too um, watery or too liquid, too much. I don't want too much liquid in it. So I'm being a little bit fancy here, but I'm gonna use a piping bag to pipe my cashew cream onto my muffins. You don't have to do this. You can use a spoon to just top them. Um, so I'm just going to use this piping tip. I'm going to just drop it in the bag um, and I'll cut the, uh, the tip of the bag when I'm ready to start piping. So I put the bag in a glass to make this process a little easier, but I'm just gonna go ahead and scoop the cashew um, cream into the piping bag. And this just helps you know, save up from making any mess while you're going through this process. So my frosting is ready in my piping bag and I'll snip off the end when I'm ready to get started. The other option for this is also to use a Ziploc bag and just snip off the end as well to use it to pipe your frosting on your muffins. Um, and that's basically what I want to do. I did put this in the fridge for a little bit for it to harden up a little bit before I started frosting as well. So you can do that to make it a little stiffer. And I'm just gonna pipe on any shape here. My frosting skills are a little rusty. I'm also gonna to top these with some um, mango fruit powder, which I have, but that is basically it. We have mango muffins with a cashew lime cream. They are fluffy and soft, and the mango in the middle is just dreamy. I do hope you give this recipe a try. I promise you're gonna love these muffins and they are so simple to make. If you like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. Remember to tap that subscribe button. Let's definitely stay connected. And until next time, just remember that eating more plants is always a good thing to do. See you in the next video.